Okey dok. Okay, nice to see you all. So come to lie down on your back. You're going to step your feet wide apart and let your knees rest in on each other. So it should be a very kind of restful position for your legs. Your hands are going to come around the base of your rib cage. So my fingers are wrapped around the front of my ribs. My thumbs are wrapping around back. And I'm holding the bottom few floating ribs, nice and low on the rib cage. And you're just going to breathe. Start to take long, slow breaths in and out of your nose. So the breath doesn't have to be super deep, but I want you to try to make it long. With your hands here, see if you can feel that as you inhale, your rib cage expands out into your hands. So the rib cage is expanding in all directions. And when you exhale, you can apply a little bit of pressure with your fingertips, feeling your ribs kind of come in towards your midline. So you inhale and feel the rib cage expand and exhale, the ribs come in. And your breath is going to start to become a very rib cage action rather than an abdominal action. So see if you can keep the abdomen a little bit fixed towards your spine as you inhale. And then the abdomen can still soften in as you exhale. And that's going to help to push the breath into your rib cage. Take a few more breaths like this, because this is the breath that I want us to use as we're moving through the practice today. Just feeling that gentle expansion and contraction right at the base of your ribs. Good. So keep that breath going. Just bring your arms down alongside you. See if you can maintain the breath without having your hands there. And then you're going to step your feet so that they're hips width distance apart on the floor. Bring your hands to your hip points right at the base of your pelvis. And you're going to round your low back into the floor and just stay there for a moment and feel a real scooping through your abdomen so that it's not just the back of the pelvis rounding down, but you feel the lower vertebra really pressing into the floor. Stay like that. Your hips are going to lift just an inch off the floor, and then you're going to keep that rounding and lower your hips all the way back down. Now come into an arched position. So the hip points rock a little away from you, and there's lots of space under the low back. Feel your feet are pressing flat into the floor. Keep that arch. Press your hips up one inch off the floor. Pause there. And then set your hips back down. We're going to do it a few more times. Now the hands can press down right beside you. So you're going to round your low back down into the floor and pause. Lift the hips one inch off the floor and pause. Keep rounding as you lower so the low back presses into the floor as the hips come down. And then you're going to arch your back. So there's space under the low spine. You have a nice arch. Keep the arch. Lift your hips an inch off the floor and pause. Keep the arch as you lower your hips down. Pause. And again, round through your low back. Pushing the spine into the floor, lift the hips an inch and pause. Lowering down, keep pressing your low back down into the floor as you lower, and then find your arch. Spine is arching away from the floor, keep that. Press your hips an inch into the air and pause. Keep the arch as you lower your hips down. Good. Find a neutral space right in the middle of those two points with your spine and your hips. And then bring your right knee to your chest. Wrap your arms around your knee. And just take a breath there, softening through your right hip. 
When you're ready, extend your left leg long along the floor. You get a little bit more of a stretch through the inner thigh. And then you're gonna switch your hand so that you're holding the back of your right thigh. Keep pulling the thigh in towards you. Flex your foot and you're making a square with your knee. So the foot starts to face up towards the ceiling. And then from here, you can change your hand so that you're either holding onto your ankle or if you can, without twerking through your back, hold your foot and hold with both hands and just kind of pull that thigh down in towards you and feel the area around that right sit bone start to open up. Release your right foot, cross your right ankle over your left knee. Hands can go to your hips, just stay here for a breath, letting that right knee relax down towards the floor. And step your left foot to the floor. Keep your hands on your hips. Start to take your left leg up into the air. The leg does not have to straighten all the way. You can have a little bit of a bend. I'm using my hands to push my hips down away from my chest to create length there as I use my left leg to press my shin in towards me. So I'm pushing the hands down and away from me and I'm drawing the legs in. Just take a few breaths like that. And then step both feet to the floor. Other side, left knee comes to your chest. Take your hands around your knee. Keep relaxing your back on the floor. When you're ready, you can extend the right leg long. And as we work here, I want you to see if you can work without your back kind of picking up or twisting away from the floor at all. Switch your grip so that you're holding the back of your left thigh. Flex your foot, extend your foot up towards the ceiling. There's still a deep bend in that knee. And you're pulling that thigh down into your chest. Holding the foot, holding the ankle, wherever you're comfortable. So we're in this half happy baby position. Opening up through the left sit bone. And we're going for a kind of long hold here so that we give the hips time to open up, time to loosen so that they're not fighting us the whole time. And then release and you can cross your ankle over your right thigh, bring your hands to your hips. Stay here, just feeling that left knee release towards the floor. I'm not pushing it. I'm just letting the left knee kind of let go away from my hip. Step your right foot to the floor. Keep pushing your hands down on your hips as you bring your right leg up. And my right leg helps to push the left leg in and I use my hand to lengthen my hips down away from my chest. Take a few breaths there. Okay, step both of your feet to the floor. You're gonna prop yourself up on your elbows here. Keep your feet on the floor. I just want really small for you to find a lifting through your chest and then a softening down through your chest. So the chest kind of presses up past the shoulders and then you can let it fall behind the shoulders. Just do that a few times to feel that movement in your shoulder blades, in the upper arm. And then lift the chest, keep your chest lifted and press yourself up onto your hands. You're gonna let your knees, it can be small. You're just gonna go side to side a little bit. Just to kind of loosen up the hips and get some movement going there. Keep that chest lifted. Okay, come to center, swing your legs behind you, grab your blanket, and we're gonna put it under the knees. Have your knees hips width, your feet hips width. Walk your hands out in front of you. Come down into a child's pose, rest your head down. Use your hands for a moment here to really press your hips back towards your heels. If you wanna wiggle around a little bit there, that's good. 
come forward to your hands and your knees. Hands are right under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. Push the hands down so that the arms are straight, you're neutral through your spine, and shift your weight around in circles over your hands. I'm stabilizing through my center, through my core, and my shoulders, switch the direction of your circle, going the other way over your hands. Good. Find center. You're going to step your right foot forward. It goes right between your hands. Left knee stays on the blanket. Walk your hands up to the top of that knee. Let your hips start to soften forward. Use your hands on your knee to press your chest up. Pull the abdomen in. You should start to feel a stretch through the top of the left knee. Keep that. Reach your arms up alongside your ears. Take a few breaths there. So it's almost like I'm arcing my fingertips up away from my left knee. You can look up on the diagonal. Bring your hands down to the floor, either side of that right foot. Start to shift your hips back. Kick your right foot out in front of you. Flex your foot. Lengthen your sit bones back. Reach your chest out past your toes. Opening up through the back of your right leg now. Easy breath. Okay. Then you're going to swing your right knee back to meet your left and step your left foot forward, right between your hands. Walk your hands up to your knee. Shift the hips forward. Lift your chest. Take a few breaths there. Pull in through your low belly right away. That's going to help to lift the top of that right thigh, giving you a nice stretch. Arms go up. The arms are helping to lift the torso off the legs. So the legs can go down, the torso lifts up and you have a stretch through the front of the right hip. Look up on the diagonal. Swing your hands down to the floor. Shift your hips back. Kick your left heel out in front of you. Flex your foot. Reach your chest forward. Lengthen your sit bones back. So you're sticking your butt out behind you as you reach the chest forward, opening the back of that left leg. Good. Left knee comes back to meet your right. Keep your knees and your feet hips width. Come to sit down on your heels. We're going to do a little shoulder warm up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Press your palms together overhead. Take your arms back behind you. Clasp your hands. Roll the shoulders back. Open your chest. Keep the chest open. Reach the chest forward to the floor. Rest your head down. Reach your arms overhead, however much is comfortable for you. Release your hands, roll yourself up to sit. Again, reach your arms up overhead, press your palms. Look up, this time clasp your hands. Bring your clasped hands in front of your chest. Press your palms forward, round your back and drop your head. Take the arms all the way up, sitting up tall. Now release the hands, clasp them behind you again. Roll the shoulders back, lift your chest up, lead with your chest, come forward, rest your head down, take a breath there. One more time, release your hands, come all the way up to sit. The arms sweep up, press your palms, look up. Clasp your hands down in front of your chest, press the interlaced palms forward, round your back and soften your head down. Take the arms up, sit tall, look up. Release the hands, clasp the hands behind your back. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, chest. Lead with your chest coming forward, rest your head down, the arms stretch overhead. Take a breath there. Release your hands. Come up, slide your blanket off to the side. Take a downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Stay here. Pedal through your feet. Go slow. So I'm going to reach one heel back and down. 
and then the other heel back and down. And I want you to feel like you're articulating right through the centers of your feet, reaching back and down through the center of one heel and then the center of the other heel, pressing the whole hand down to the floor out in front of you. That to take that movement forward, you're gonna walk your feet forward towards your hand. Feet will be hip twist distance apart. Bend the knees, relax your head down, hold opposite elbows. Let the head hang down between your arms. Give yourself a little sway there. Bend one knee and then the other knee and just kind of feel the torso drape down away from the legs. Release your arms, put a bend in both knees. You're gonna round up to stand, take your time, feel your weight stack right over the centers of your feet. Stand up tall, bring the shoulders all the way up by your ears and then roll them back and down. And again, shoulders up, back and down. Keep your feet hip width distance apart, reach your arms forward out in front of you. Take an inhale there. Exhale, you're gonna press the hands back, bend your knees, Bring your torso parallel with the floor. And then you're gonna swing yourself back up, straighten the legs, reach forward, swing the arms back, bend your knees, your torso is parallel with the floor. One more time, arms reach forward, swing them back. You're gonna stay here. Slide your hands down the backs of your legs, keep the knees bent as you bring your chest and your head down between your shins. Keep your head dropping, start to lift your hips, straightening your legs without your chest coming too far away. Take a breath there. See if you can find a place in your breath and a place in your body where you're not fighting the stretch. You're going deep enough that you can soften into it a bit. Bend your knees, round up, stand up. We're gonna repeat that again. So the bending and the straightening of the legs is a nice way to create blood flow in the legs and a pumping movement so that when we go into the forward fold, the legs are ready to open. So arms reach forward, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, press the hands back, the torso's parallel. Straighten the legs, come up, reach forward. Exhale, press your hands back, torso's parallel with the floor. One more time, inhale, come up. Exhale, bend the knees and tilt forward. Slide your hands down the backs of your legs, pull your chest and your head down towards your shin. Keep the chest and the head down, start to lift your hips, straightening your legs. Five breaths this time, one. Two, you don't have to straighten the legs all the way. You wanna stay close to the legs, straighten as, as much as you can. Three, it's okay if it's intense. See if you can soften inside of that intensity, four. Five, bend your knee, come all the way up to stand. Okay, step your feet about three feet apart. Bring your hands to your waist, turn your right toes all the way out to the right side. My left toes are facing forward. I'm gonna slide both of my hands down my right leg. Bend your knee as much as you need to. Your hands are gonna frame that right foot. Keep your head and chest a little bit lifted. You're gonna bend and straighten that right leg a couple of times. Doesn't have to straighten all the way, but I just want you to give that right leg a little bit of a pump. Come to where you can have that right leg straight. The right hand can either rest on the top of the foot or it can come to your shin. Bring the left arm up, so we're in triangle pose. Five breaths here, one, two, three, Four, five, standing all the way up. Switch your feet, right toes turn in, left toes turn out. Both hands are gonna slide down that left leg. Hands come to frame the left foot, keep your head and chest lifted, bend and straighten your left leg a couple of times. Again, it doesn't have to straighten all the way while your hands are on the floor. Then you want the leg to come completely straight. So come up as high as you need to. Left hand can be on your shin or on the foot. Reach the right arm up. Look up at your fingers. Five breaths. One, two, three, four, 
five. Come all the way up to stand. Step your feet together. Okay. From here, you're going to come into a chair-ish pose. Bend your knees, and I just have my hands on my thighs for now. I'm going to go to the right side first. My left arm is going to slide down my leg as I keep bending my knees until I get my elbow past the thigh. Then I'm going to bend the elbow, lift my chest to my thumb. Press your right hand into your left hand. Turn your chest to the right. You have five breaths. One, two, three, four, five. Coming to center, walk your hands way out in front of you. Squat your hips down towards the floor. Now your hands are going to walk over to the right side again. So you're going to lean your body over to the right. Start to swing your legs away from your body. If you can, get the palms flat, and you're going to start to turn your chest towards the floor between your hands as you push your knees over to the left. So you're creating a nice twist right through your center. Five breaths, one, two, three. Feel like you're turning through your middle, four, Five. Walk your hands to center. Come to stand up and we'll do the other side. Hands start on the thighs. Sit your hips low. Bend your knees. Guide your right arm down your leg until your elbow passes your knee. Bend the elbow. Lift your chest to that thumb. Press the left hand on the right. Turn and twist. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Walk your hands out in front of you as you squat all the way down. And then the hands walk to the left side again. Chest comes over to the left, knees swing to the right. Try to get the hands flat. You can lean over the hands a little bit, turn the chest towards the floor right between the hands, push the knees to the right. There's a twist right through your midline. One two, three, four, five. Bring your hands to center, come to stand up. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of balancing. If you wanna hold onto a wall, hold onto a wall. Otherwise, just do it in the middle of the mat. You're gonna bring your right knee up to your chest. Just find your balance over your left leg. Doesn't have to lift very high. Open the knee to the side. We're coming into a tree pose. The foot either comes to your inner thigh or you can put it on your shin. You don't want the foot so high that it knocks you over. Press your palms at your chest. Your foot and your leg press into each other. Take a breath there. We're just looking for stability and straightness through the left leg. And also stamina in our balancing postures. We want to be able to balance on one leg for a while. Cross your right ankle over your thigh. Sit your hips back like you're sitting into a chair. Bring your hands to your shin. And I want you to feel like you're sticking your butt out, getting nice and low. We're going for a stretch through the back of that right hip. Take a few breaths like that. Relax that left foot on the floor. I know it's getting tired. With control, you're gonna stand back up from there, lift that right knee up to your chest. And then you can step your foot down and we'll do the other side. Left knee lifts up. Open the knee, take your tree pose. It can go right up at your inner thigh or it can go on your calf. Don't press into your knee. Breathe here, just stay. Feel the strength in that right hip, the strength through the right thigh. Then cross your ankle over your thigh. Start to sit your hips back. Bring your hands down onto your shin. Stick your butt out. Feel an opening through that left hip. Really feel like you're sticking your butt out to the left side. Stay there. Relax your right foot on the floor. Try not to tense your shoulders too much. 
pull your abdomen in. That's going to help to stabilize you. With control, stand, lift that left knee to your chest. And then step your foot to the floor. Okay, good. Coming back onto our mat, start on, uh, just come to sit down actually. All right, we're gonna take right leg forward, left leg back. We're coming into a pigeon pose. I'm trying to bring the whole top of my left thigh down onto the floor, right? So we usually start over here to the side, and then we wanna turn the hips forward, spiral the top of that left thigh down. Adjust the angle of the front leg as you need to. Play with it if you feel pain in your knee. Don't, I don't want you to feel twisting or torquing in your knee. Walk your hands forward. Relax your head down. Take a few breaths here. See if you can find that nice three-dimensional breath at your rib cage as you stay here and breathe. I'm just keeping my head a little lifted so I can talk, but you can rest your head all the way down. And you're looking for a sense of release in your body. Wherever you feel tightness, wherever you feel a stretch in this pose, tell that part of your body, let go, let go, let go, soften, soften, soften. A lot of the workouts that we do create hardness in the body. Hardness, strength, tension. You know, that's good and we need that but we also want to feel a sense of softness and releasing that so we don't have pain and we don't have gripping. And we want a sense of like fluidity in the body. Okay, bring yourself up to sit. Your left leg's gonna swing forward. I'm going to turn to face you. So you have left leg forward, open your right knee to the side. Hands are gonna go beside you. Feel that you're turning the right side of your pelvis towards the left leg. So there's a little bit of a twist there. Keep that right hand reaches forward for your left foot. You can leave the left hand on the floor beside you if you need. Otherwise, both hands come forward. I want you to fold over that left leg. Keep turning your whole pelvis towards the left leg as you fold, and then breathe big into your back for two, three, four, five. Come all the way up to six. Right foot's gonna step to the floor. Open the foot a little bit wide. Left hand's on the floor beside you for some support. Reach the right hand forward. I'm think of, thinking of drawing my torso forward in front of that right leg. Fold as far forward as you can. One, two. You can even feel that you're pushing your right thigh a little bit back. Three, four. Five. Come all the way up to sit. Right knee is going to fold forward and down and open that knee a little to the side. Bring your left foot right in front of that knee. We're going to start to turn towards the left. Bring both hands to the floor right outside of your left thigh. And then continue to turn towards the left. You're going to come down as far as is comfortable, maybe onto your elbows. And we're basically stretching away from that right hip and that right thigh. Feel your chest soften down towards the floor between your forearms as the right knee reaches heavy into the floor. Take a few breaths like that. And sort of unwinding the outer right hip, unwinding the right waist. Make your way all the way up to sit. Now we're gonna set ourselves up in a pigeon pose on the left. So you can take this left leg, move it to the left, organize yourself to the top of the right thigh, rotate down towards the floor. 
It's okay if your hips are a little bit lifted. Once you come forward, you'll feel the weight more off your hips and they might start to soften down. So get your weight forward either over your hands or over your elbows. You have your blanket nearby if you wanna use it. Stay here and breathe. Look for that big, long, three-dimensional breath at your rib cage. Fix your abdomen a little bit in towards your spine. Let go of the fight or the holding that you feel in your body in this position. Just let yourself kind of be in the position a little bit more every cycle of breath. Okay, make your way up to sit. Right leg swings forward now. So I'm gonna face you. Left leg opens to the side. Hands start out right beside you. I'm gonna turn my pelvis towards the right leg. That creates depth in this right hip. Keep your right hand beside you to start. Reach the left hand forward for your foot. You can stay there and fold forward or both hands will come forward to the right leg. As you turn your pelvis towards the right leg, you should feel your abdomen start to center over the right thigh. One, breathe into the back. Two, three, four, five. Come all the way up to sit. Step your left foot to the floor, open the foot wide. Right hand stays beside you, reach your left hand forward for your right foot. Lengthen over that leg, pushing the left thigh a little bit back, reaching the body forward one. Two. Three. Four. Five, come all the way up to sit. Fold your left knee forward, open the knee a little bit to the side, right foot comes to the front of that knee. Turning towards the right, both hands come down in front of the right thigh. Start to lower yourself down. You can walk your hands a little forward and stay with bent elbows, or if it's comfortable, put your elbows on the floor. You're gently turning your chest towards the floor, right between the hands reaching that left knee down towards the floor where it is, creating an unwinding through this outer left hip. Breathe here. Full inhales, full exhales. Make yourself all the way up to sit. Swing both legs in front of you. Step your feet to the floor. Hold on to the backs of your thighs. Roll your shoulders back, sit tall. Feel the abdominals soften in towards your spine. Keep that, you're on your tippy toes. And then you're gonna take your legs up to tabletop position. Fix your shoulders back. Fix the abdominals in and the thighs towards your chest. Don't let them pop away, keep them in. Take your toes up one inch, hold that. Keep your feet where they are, keep your thighs and your knees where they are, reach your hands forward, go slow. If you feel like you're gonna fall, hold on again. I don't want you to fall back. I don't want your legs to come away from you. If you have it, find another inch. Keep pulling those abdominals in. We wanna be able to hold these positions for quite a long time. Breathe, if your hips are cramping, pull your abdomen in further and then step your feet to the floor. Your feet can be hips width distance apart. Hands are gonna go behind you eight inches to the floor, face the fingers forward, lift your chest up. Chest is in front of your shoulders. Keep that, 
push into your feet, lift your hips, keep your chin down, see that you're lifting your hips higher than your knees and breathe one, two, three, four, use those glutes, five, sit down, kick your feet out in front of you. There's a little bend in your knees. My feet are hip twist, toes facing the ceiling. Reach your arms up. Find length in your spine here. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring the body forward. Hold the sides of your feet. Bend your knees as much as you need to so you can reach. Lift your chest. Find some inches forward in your heels. Maybe you can straighten the legs all the way. And then bring your head and chest down. Take a breath there. Come all the way up to sit. We're gonna repeat that sequence again. Hold onto the backs of your thighs, pull the abdominals in, shoulders back, find your tabletop position. I'm using my hands to keep the thighs closed, find an inch in your legs. Find another inch in your legs, stay. Squeeze the thighs in towards each other, let go if you have it. Straightening the legs all the way, keep pulling the belly in, lifting the chest up towards your toes. Three more breaths, one, two, three. Step your feet to the floor so they're hips width. Walk the hands back, fingers face forward. Have a lift in your chest. Chin down, press your hips up, find your glutes. Lift your hips as high as your knees, one, two, three, four, five. Lower down, kick your heels out in front of you. There's a bend in your knees. Reach your arms up, take an inhale. Reach forward, hold the sides of your feet. Chest lifts up. Reach the chest and the head down. Sorry, with your chest lifted, find the stretch in your legs. Kick your heels forward as far as you can. And then bring your chest and your head down. Take a breath there. Lengthen your sit bones out back behind you. Keep your feet apart so you have space to stretch and get long. Come to sit up. We're going to do it one more time. Feet on the floor, hold the backs of your legs, take your tabletop position. If your abdominals are getting tired and crampy, hold this and stay, okay? Otherwise, start to find some height in your legs. Maybe let go, reach your hands forward. Find your breath, pull the abdominals in. Tell yourself it's the last time. You're all right, you've got it. We're building heat. We're moving blood through the body, good. Step your feet to the floor, the feet are hips width, walk your hands back. If your arms are getting tired, lift your chest and just stay here. Otherwise, come all the way up. One, two, three, four, five. Lower the hips, kick the heels out in front of you, reach your arms up. Start with a bend in your knees, even if you have the length in your hamstrings. Reach forward, hold the sides of your feet, lift your chest. Then start to find a stretch in your leg. Then start to bring the body forward. Five breaths this time, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come all the way up to sit. Come to lie down on your back. Bend your knees and step your feet to the floor. Press your hands down right beside you. Have a neutral feeling in your spine. Use your whole foot on the floor to start to press your hips up. If you have enough height in your hips and space under you, clasp your hands under you, roll the shoulders back into the floor, maybe even tuck them under you. We're gonna stay. Feel the big toe ball mound press down into the floor just as much as the space under your pinky toe is pressing into the floor. Press your heels into the floor. And then release your hands if you have them. Lower all the way down. Take a breath at the bottom. We're gonna do it twice more. When you're ready, inhale. Press your hips up. Use your whole foot on the floor. If there's Face under you, clasp the hands, roll the shoulders back. If when you clasp the hands, it just feels icky on your shoulders, keep your hands pressing into the floor. 
It means you have to lift your body higher off the floor so that there's room under you to start to work the shoulders. Breathe here. The backs of your legs should feel like they're starting to heat up and work. That's okay, that's good. Release your hands lower down and take a breath. Don't lift your feet up off the floor. Just stay there and wait. Hamstrings kind of let go a little bit. Then we're gonna fire them up again, look back up. Clasp your hands under you when you're ready. Last time. See how much lift you can get through your hips. Pull the belly down as you press your hips up. So I'm not pushing my abdominals up, pushing my hips up. Okay, release your hands, lower down. Okay, let's step the feet apart. Let the knees come on in on each other, just how we started. Arms are overhead and just let the arms rest there. So there's a bend in the elbows. I'm kind of holding one hand in the other overhead. Find a nice long breath. Okay, step your feet together, roll to your side, come to sit up, grab your blanket or your towel, all right? You're gonna roll it into a tube and we're gonna lie on it in a few different positions, okay? So as we come into the positions, you can decide, do I want a bigger tube or do I want a skinnier tube, okay? Adjust how you need to. It's gonna go under our bra line first, okay? So right basically at the base of where the shoulder blades are, like that bottom tip. So lie back on it, adjust as you need to. And then your head's gonna go back to the floor. If that feels too far away, you can either make your towel skinnier or you can put something under your head, like a little pillow or if you have a yoga block, let the arms relax down on either side of that towel or blanket. And then when you're ready, you can just stretch your legs out. So we're encouraging that upper back to come forward into the body. Give yourself time there for the body to adjust. It shouldn't feel too crazy intense. It's also not necessarily the most comfortable position to lie down in. As long as it doesn't hurt, see if you can stay and just feel those upper vertebra come into the body right behind where your blanket is. Find your exhale. Sometimes when we really exhale into these positions, our body really gives in and let go. Sometimes when I take a deep exhale, I'll feel like a little pop somewhere. It feels really good. Bend your knees, step your feet to the floor. Take your time, roll on to one side, and press yourself up. I'm gonna keep this same tube and I'm gonna turn it vertical on my mat. And I'm gonna lie back, I'm gonna take my hips right up against the one end, use my hands to lower down and I'm gonna feel like I'm pushing my spine into the blanket as I go back. And then again, the head is gonna hang back off the blanket. If you have a long blanket and your head under or on the blanket, that's okay and that's good. And again, if you need something under your head, grab something and put it there. You want your hips to soften down towards the floor past this tube that you have. Keep your feet on the floor for stability though. If you stretch your legs out, you might feel like you're gonna topple over. 
And I just want you to feel like either side of your back is softening down around the tube. And the pecs, the front of your chest, the outer shoulders are softening away from your midline. So you're just getting this letting go feeling in your chest and the letting go feeling through the front of your body. We won't stay in this one for a bit too, too long because it's not the most stable to really rest. In. To come up, you're gonna use your arms, push your back into the blanket, you're curling up. Use your hands to help you. Come all the way up, keep your tube, move it off to the side, Lie down on your back, bend your knees and step your feet to the floor. The tube is gonna go right under, sideways, under your butt. I want it to be under the soft tissue of the glutes. So you might have to adjust it once you get in there. We're gonna straighten the leg. We don't want the tube to be too huge. And it's just gonna help as I straighten the leg. It's gonna help me to let go of that area in the front of my hip that gets tight when we do a lot of sitting or a lot of forward folding. And you can also feel where the blanket is, feel that the sacrum is getting pushed a little bit into the body, which should feel nice. That's gonna give your SI joints on either side of your sacrum a little bit of space. And just take a few easy breaths. So your legs feel heavy. Really let go through your glutes. Close your eyes. You can stay here if it feels good. If you feel like you've had enough, you're going to roll back and push the blanket just under the butt so that it's under your thighs now. And then you can let the backs of your thighs rest on the blanket. And we're going to lie like that. So with the blanket under the thighs, it gives our body this feeling of having just a bit of support. And when my body feels like it's supported, I can relax. It's a little bit different than softening into your bed at the end of the day because I'm aware right now of what's happening in my body. I'm trying to keep my awareness on what's going on physically so that I, there's a sharpness to my focus. So I'm not just falling asleep and totally letting go. I'm trying to relax my body as much as I can and still stay connected to the feelings of the body. So feel the backs of the legs soften into the blanket. And you can use each cycle of breath to keep you in your body. Just a few more moments like this. Moving slowly, bend one knee and then the other, stepping your feet to the floor. Roll off to one side. You're gonna press yourself up to sit. 
take your blanket. We're gonna set up in a comfy seat. We're gonna stay seated for a bit. So fold your blanket up as high as you want it. If you want to sit against the wall, that's okay. But sitting on the floor when you're not sitting on anything, sometimes the body can kind of slouch and sit back. And that's going to affect your breathing. So we want to be sitting upright with the knees relaxing down away from the hips. Hands can rest on the knees. Sit tall, close your eyes. I'm just going to talk you through your body a little bit. Okay, so starting out with your feet and your legs, I want you to feel that the legs are not gripping, they're not being held up towards the body, but you're letting the legs go and be really passive. Relax your feet. Make any adjustments here that you need to so that you can keep the legs relatively still. And then feel where your hands are and have your hands in a comfortable place that the elbows can relax down, the shoulders can be relaxed. You don't feel like you're holding your arms, but the arms are in a place where you're just sort of setting them there to rest. There's a lifting feeling through your spine without tension. Chest is a little bit lifted, chin comes a little bit down, so the back of the neck is long. Relax the muscles of your face. And commit <clears throat> to letting go of movements that come from restlessness. If you need to move and make an adjustment, do so gently and deliberately. But let go of all other movements or urges to fix or adjust. And I'm, I'm going to start to talk you through and even inhale and exhale. I'm gonna count this through a four count, inhale to a four count, exhale. So go ahead, exhale your breath. We're breathing in and out of the nose. Take a full breath in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, 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 in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Keep that breath going on your own, counting at your own pace. So if you want to count a little slower, that's okay. Your awareness is on the rhythm of your breath, the even rhythm of your breath. And then relax your breath. Open your eyes. If you need to stretch out your legs for a moment, go ahead. We're going to do more breath work. <clears throat> when you're ready, fold your legs back in, set yourself up. We're going to do alternate nostril breathing and a, a series of alternate nostril breathing. So using your right hand, fold your first two fingers down. I'm going to use my thumb for my right nostril, my ring finger for the left. We're going to start plugging the right nostril, breathing in and out of only the left side for five breaths, 
And then we're gonna switch, breathing in and out, only the right side for five breaths, and then we'll pause. So sitting tall, exhale your breath, plug the right nostril, breathe in through the left side. Out through the left. In left. And out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Release your hand down. Breathe in and out of both nostrils a few times. When you're doing this, you can take exaggerated inhales, exaggerated exhales, like you're pushing the breath in and out of that nostril we're working with. So now exhale your breath, plug the left nostril, inhale through the right. And out. Staying on the right side, breathe in. And out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Release your hands down. Breathe in and out of both nostrils. Okay, again, we're gonna go in through the left, out through the right. In through the left, out through the right. Five times, and then we'll switch directions. So get your right hand ready, plugging your right nostril, breathe in through the left side. Out through the right. Again, in through the left. Out right. In left. Out right. In left. Out right. In left. Out right. Release your hand down. Take a few breaths. Now reversing it, in through the right, out through the left. Plug your left nostril, breathe in through the right. Out through the left. In through the right. Out through the left. In right, out left, in right, out left, in right, out left. Release your hands down. Take a few easy breaths. Okay, we're gonna do a few rounds, alternating. In through the left, out through the right. In through the right, out through the left, and so on. So, plug your right nostril, breathe in through the left side. Out to the right. 
stay into the right. Out through the left. In through the left. Out through the right. In through the right. Out through the left. In through the left, out to the right, in through the right, out to the left. Release your hands down. Close your eyes. Relax your breath. Just feel a sense of stillness in your body for a moment. Okay. Thank you all very much. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in one week. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Lindsay. My pleasure. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye.